Hi, so what I want to demonstrate here is the copying and the moving of a Tableau website. So you'll notice I have two sites here, the default site and also Code Cowboy. And they are actually a copy of each other. And let me show you the steps to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring up a PowerShell and I'm going to click Shift and run as administrator. And when I run it as administrator, I want to set the path. So this is a PowerShell, and what I want to do is go into the command shell, so I'm going to type in CMD, and I'm going to set the path, which allows me access to tab admin. And after I have access to tab admin, the website that I want to export is actually this Code Cowboy site. Now if I wanted to export the default site, what I would do is actually uh, put in two empty quotes but in my case I am exporting the code cowboy site so I am gonna type in code cowboy now that is the site ID which is different than the site name so if I go into code cowboy and I click on settings here you'll notice that is the site ID of my site and that is the second parameter of the command itself and I am going to type in export site and store it in the temp directory here and name it code cowboy and executing the command it will export the site in a zip file into my C temp directory here and the first thing it's going to do is lock the site to prevent any edits from occurring by any of the users. Now the reason why you can't move a site in the UI is because the security paradigm of Tableau is segregated based on sites. So no, no permissions migrate from one site to the other as far as just the ability to copy or move workbooks or projects. So what this export does is um, it'll copy or move any of the contents into a newer site in which case you can alter whatever permissions at that point within the site itself. So this is taking some time to export and so I'm going to pause here and come back. So you notice here it took about a minute to process the site because it is a very small site. And you'll notice now I have the zip file here. And what I want to do next is import the site. So I will click on manage all sites. And I want to create a new site. And I'm just going to say copy code cowboy and create the site. So what I'm doing is moving all the contents of this site or copying this site into that site. And that command is merely the same exact command except it's import site and the location I want to import it which is copy code cowboy and that is the file I want to import it as and I will add another parameter no verify now if you don't add this parameter it will actually just extract the zip files into a temporary directory such that you could sift through the zip file and the extraction and verify that the contents of the site uh, putting no verify simply imports the site itself straight into this into the Tableau target site without the verification. So the verification is basically a manual step you have to do. And so this import will take about 10 minutes here even for a small site that is 2.5 megs. So I'm going to pause here and wait until the site fin uh, finishes importing. So the site did take about 10 minutes to import and you'll notice if I go back in and click on copy of and 
and click refresh here, you'll notice now the copy itself has the complete workbook uh, just like the source site and they're exactly the same. So that is how you copy and move a site into another location. It is actually no different than the import and export and I hope this helps and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.